Hello, welcome to another episode of Fossiliferous. So, come to Port Mulgrave today. So, I had a little trek down here, first time in ages actually. Uh, my friend Kevin uh, and his lad Theo. Uh, it's actually pretty good. Uh, I've not been down here properly, probably for ooh, 12 months and maybe only once or twice in the last few years. Because I used to come here all the time. Now, Port Mulgrave uh, tends to give out lots of dax. Used to be uh, uh, the place to come for uh, finding dax. Uh, occasional hildy. It does throw up the occasional bit of bone. Uh, and occasionally something a bit different, like a phylloceros, uh, but it's all Bifron's sort of subzone uh, and jet rock. Uh, so you can go left or right here at the fishing huts. Uh, right tends to be the Bifron zone, whereas left you're going through the jet rock and the um, uh, down towards the uh, Tenicostatum beds and the grey shales. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna go have a look right today, see if we can find anything. You never know, could be a few fresh bits. Some really, really nice ducks after uh, after that storm uh, a couple of weeks ago. So not been on the coast for a week, uh, not fossil hunting. So I did put a bit of time in uh, a couple of weeks ago after that storm, but uh, I don't think we've had any particular bad weather too much. I know we had Storm Betty, uh, but I don't think uh, that made much of an impact up here. So yeah. It's looking very peaceful. Yeah, it's looking uh, nice. Uh, a bit late to the coast this uh, this afternoon, so the tide's already on its way out. It's about an hour to to low tide, so uh, probably a few people been on the beach already. That's okay. There's always something to find. It's a nice low actually. See all the beds exposed. So yeah. So we're gonna head that way. So a couple of people I can see on the beach already. But yeah, those, those beds at the base of the cliff, they're all jet rock. Uh, and in the cliff, that's the, uh, the Bifron zone. So I'm going to head down here and to the rope. So access is pretty pretty reasonable down here, especially in the dry. Uh, quite cobbly, uneven surfaces. Uh, everyone says the rope's bleh, horrible, but to be honest, this is not bad. So that's the rope access. Just go down here. Someone's nicely put some little steps in this bit. I don't know if they're going to do the whole lot down here since the land slip a couple of years ago. So, I guess word of warning when it is wet, it can be quite slippy. But when it's dry like this, to be honest, you don't even need the rope. Somebody coming up. Uh, almost down to the bottom. There we go. Uh, bottom old groove there, so I'm just walking along this scar. You can see it's jet rock. Look, there's a partial elegantisserus just there. Preserved in a nodule, but yeah, if there was any nodules, I could have one in. There's another one there, wearing away. Uh, yeah, you never know, something might have been dislodged. Big nodule there, look. Again, I'm not going to dig it out. You never know what you might find, though. If you find a loose one, well, some little pocket finds. I'll have a middle, there's one next to it as well. Oh, that's definitely all there. Focus. At least that's two in the bag. Well, found a couple of little bits, but finds are quite scarce. That looks like it might be an interesting rock. And uh, already been tapped. So yeah, yeah, hard going so far. Yeah, pretty busy on the beach this morning. Plenty of people collecting. But find worthy of videoing. Uh, nice double deck. A bit warm, but yep, there's one there. And there's one in that end. 
yeah that one looks a bit uh, bit crushed but yeah, double decker nonetheless better than nothing well there's always something to find get that pop a nice nodule that just half buried in the dirt don't know if there's out in it though I have to give it a crack well empty never mind go find another well, it's hard going. Picked up half a dozen scrappy bits. Uh, this is probably the best one so far. Not a bad little dack that. Bit wear, but yeah. Not too bad. So, uh, finds it still slow, but we had one. Just wanted to come out in bits, did this. That's actually quite nice. You can see the uh, see the suture patterns on that. I quite like that. Nice little laminate. Won't be a big one, but it'll be nice. That. Well, yep. little one poking out. Is it all there? Let me get this. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much been the stamp today. Not the best, but a few fossils at least. I think I'm going to go ahead the other way. I'll look, see if there's any tennies around that point. So, I've abandoned Port Mulgrave, come a little bit further up the coast. Uh, find some little old Elias. And there's a little Amalfius subnodosus. First block of the day. See if we can find any more. Yeah, there's a lot of seaweed about, but that looks like a decent nodule. Well buried. That's only half a one. Well, the right material, but whether there's oat in it or not, who knows? See you know in it. I'll spit that way, which is good. Oh yes, there is some ammonites in there. Okay, so there's a small ammonite there. I broke one, unfortunately. There's another ammonite there. So yeah, there's a few in here. Only small one so far, though. Only small so far, but that's a lovely little one. Amalfius subnerosus. There's another one just in there. Teeny tiny gastropod. And then this one. That's a nice one there. And there's one poking out just there as well. It's got a few nice bits and pieces. Cool. Don't see it because I'm in the way. Little shell imprint there. I think this might be another. Oh, yes. See an Amalfius there, a tiny one again. Really, the big ones that we're after. You can see this one there. And again, I have to crack it open, see what's inside. Let's have a go. Well, reduce that one to rubble. Uh, absolutely nothing in it. Those two little surface ones. Uh, very fractured, so never mind, not all of them are uh, winners. That one, however, is a winner. Lovely little one there. There's even a tiny little one on the side. Nice. Oh, get in, get in, get in. Oh, just hit this one. Thinking, oh, that doesn't look the right sort of rock. <laughs> and there's a great big Amalfius inside it. Yes. already around it. I don't know whether I dare tap it anymore. It could break into a million pieces. Uh, yes, Picross keel, big Amalfius. Oh, I'm just going to put that in the bag along with a little bit. Oi, come here. 
day. I'm Malfius. Ah, it's the most awkward rock in the world. Ah. Right, so I think I'm going to put that. Where did you go? You went there. Put you back on there. It's not far off the beach, so yes, I'll uh, take that as is. Mm -hmm. 